Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Staropter, welcome back to the channel, it's time to talk about some Star Wars comics, we have one from Dark Horse, two from Marvel Comics, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So getting into it, we have the High Republic Adventures, issue number 5 for Phase 3, this is also Volume 3, this one's called Now or Never Part 2, this is written of course by Daniel Jose Older, with artwork by Elisa Ramboli, so in this we pick up at this awesome cliffhanger, where there is this ship that they are trying, the Jedi are trying, the Republic is trying to infiltrate this ship to get free uh, the now prisoners, which there are many Jedi, like Buckets of Blood and Farzala. They have been vented into space, and these Jedi are trying to do their best to survive, but they do not have very long. Meanwhile, you have all these different Republic ships, the RDC, Republic Defense Coalition, headed by Ad Admiral Kunara, is going on and just just hammering the space as much as they can. Meanwhile, you have Niv Drendal, that um, uh, Umbaran character that is kind of the underling of what is going on with that Athorian guy, Bulan, who has all these nameless. He's concerned about the nameless, but then you also have his predecessor, or his protege, so to speak, Dridget, who decides to join with the Warden and escape that ship. So you have a whole lot of stuff going on. You have Zine Morala, you have Lula Talisol, you have Court. They are the boarding party that have gone onto the ship and they're just wrecking Nile. Even the guy Phage, uh, or Sage, even the droid Sage, uh, 5AGE or something like that, using buzz saws to take these guys out. Really hilarious stuff there. I just really love the conclusion of this issue. When they get everybody out of there, they destroy the ship, and then it's really that big personal connection between Zine Morala and Lula Tal Solo. And Lula Tal Solo, of course, had her mind like she forgot a lot of things after Starlight Beacon, and she hasn't really picked up her Jedi training, and now she basically makes the decision not to continue being a Jedi. And her and Zine are going to have you know, hopefully a happy, happily ever after kind of uh, ending for them. Although we do have three issues coming. So they leave off while they're on the base in Iradu. So I really love this issue. Just a great artwork as always. And oh my gosh, this action was just incredible. The back and forth between ships and on the station, just pure Star Wars right there. Next up from Marvel Comics, we have the first issue of the miniseries, which is an anthology series, actually. Darth Maul black white and red this one is called ghost ship and this is written by benjamin percy with artwork by stefano Raphael, just in time for the phantom menace 20th 25th anniversary which i can't wait to see next week we have this awesome kind of tie-in but not really this is pre phantom menace Sidious is giving uh, Darth Maul his mission to go after this uh, prison ship that has gone dark. These prisoners are of a faction uh, that are called the Final Occultation, and they are dealing with chaos and darkness. And well, you have you have Darth Maul that's infiltrating a ship with his scimitar ship, being an assassin. Everything we would expect of of Darth Maul, right? You have him as an assassin going in, and these aren't just any normal aliens. These are basically made for this book and he's going through he's being mentally challenged like these things are getting into his psyche and really screwing him up so he's having to kind of tread the water of insanity to try to defeat these opponents and when he does he's able to crash land his ship to destroy the last of the three targets and he calls for backup to get himself out of there from his own remote controlled ship which is pretty cool so really did enjoy this one we have three more standalone stories coming throughout the next couple months and Last and definitely not least, my favorite of the current Star Wars comics, Django Fett, issue number two. This one is called Trial, uh, Trail of Lost Hope, part two. Of course, written by Ethan Sachs with the amazing Luke Ross on art. And man, Luke Ross just crushes it again. We get to see Django Fett, level 1313, bring it back to those 1313 vibes of that canceled video game. Everything about 1313 level on Coruscant, I absolutely love. This is just such a cool location, seedy underworld belly, and Django is getting into trouble instantly, as you would expect, fending off some transitions that just don't even know the infamy of what they're dealing with. He just easily handles them. Then he goes in and he finds out these and sell me and these are the guys remember the whole the whole crux of this mission is he was hired by the republic to find the the hope of glian selm or whatever that device is called that that very much um it signifies the peace between the nolans and the 
and Selmy, which are the two species primarily on Glian Sem. So with that being stolen by this thief, you have Django Fett that is on the trail to figure out where that is. So we see him go from planet to planet, and he does find himself in a big, big conflict between uh, this this guy uh, that has this big double staff, um, Struck. His name is Struck, and he is just giving Jenga Fett a run for his money. You get to see Jenga Fett using all his gadgets from his saber darts to his vibro blades to his blasters, of course. Like, it, it's really great. And he actually challenges. Jenga actually gets his butt handed to him pretty good. If it wasn't for Slave 1 saving him at the end, we would actually maybe see him get gravely wounded. Of course, he couldn't be because we see him in episode 2. But still, I like seeing the Bruce Wayne-esque version of Jango Fett at the end there. Helmetless, having to deal with his injuries on his, you know, on his own. He has no droid. He has no other connections. It's great also seeing Shevin in this as well. Um, just all around good times. Really enjoyed this. And we get to see Clixon, who showed up in the uh, Bounty Hunters uh, arc that was, of course, written by Ethan Sachs. So there you have it. Those were my thoughts on the recent comics this week. Go ahead and check out the Star Wars Underworld uh, channel over there on YouTube. We go ahead and we do the Tractor Beam show. We take a deep dive into every week's comics. Me and Matthew over there on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Make sure you also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That's going to do it for me, Star Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me, and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.